Hi everyone, welcome to the DIY Workshop 2021. My name is Shres Fadnavis and today I will be covering the topic of denoising. I have broken the presentation down into four parts. In the first part, I will talk about the different types of denoising methods and the effect of noise and diffusion MRR. In the second part, I will cover the first paradigm of denoising available in DIPAL, that is the non-local mean space denoising. Next, I will talk about denoising methods based on low rank approximations, which are currently used very widely. And lastly, I will focus on a new type of denoising method that leverages statistical independence of noise using self-supervised learning. For each of these, I will also demo the implementations in DIPAL. Diffusion MRI is a 4D imaging technique where many 3D volumes corresponding to different gradient directions are acquired. You may have already seen this in the videos preceding this one. In each voxel of diffusion MRI, we are trying to capture a signal decay. The signal that we acquire is modeled to gain insight into the microscopic details of the tissue architecture. Typically, the diffusion signal in each voxel is modeled using multi-compartmental mixture models or by using a spherical harmonic basis. Using the information derived from these models that affect the data, one derives white matter information to reconstruct tracts, commonly known as tractography. Diffusion MRI is typically limited in noise. Noise originating from a variety of sources and types often corrupts the diffusion MR signal. One of the main sources for noise and diffusion MR signal is the thermal noise. The effect of this noise becomes more prominent with an increase in the B value. While it is known that this noise is non-central chi distributed with newer acquisition schemes and diffusion encoding strategies, both the signal and the noise become hard to model and remove. As in any imaging system, the more signal you try to acquire at a higher amplitude or frequency, the more noise starts corrupting the data. This noise often hampers the downstream tasks. Here is a toy figure depicting the effect of noise on model fitting. On the right cube, I am showing uh, in the data space and the blue dots show the samples for an ideal acquisition. Due to noise, the blue dots get pushed away from the ideal signal and <clears throat> misestimate the uh, model fitting displayed on the left uh, in the model space. Now, modeling the signal is in itself a hard inverse problem. Thus, in the model space, it causes an, a misinterpretation and often results in biased estimates. Furthermore, it also results in spurious streamlines during tracking. Here, the optic radiation bundle is depicted with a fiber to bundle coherence quantification. The red, red yellow streamlines represent spurious and incoherent streamlines. Denoising being a problem across all modalities has been tackled from a variety of perspectives. Most of these perspectives place some assumption on the signal. A first type of this assumption is smoothness. Assuming that over a particular neighborhood, the signal does not change too much, one can use a kernel or fit a spline to, the local, uh, to do a local approximation. Gaussian and mean filters, total variation norm, among others belong to this category. Next is the assumption that the signal is intrinsically low rank. This in the case of diffusion MRI is done using singular value decomposition or principal component analysis. The idea is that the top k singular values would correspond to the true underlying signal and we discard the rest of the noisy ones. The Marchenko pasture PCA uh, is one of the popular methods which provides a strategy to choose the top k singular values using principles from random matrix theory. Self-similarity assumption states that many patches in the image are going to be more or less similar. The famous methods such as non-local means and its variants 
BM3D, BM4D, etc. belong to this category. Another popular assumption for denoising is the notion of sparsity. By assuming that the entire image can be reconstructed from a sparse basis set, one can use a basis dictionary such as the discrete cosine transforms and reconstruct a denoised version of the image. A commonly used approach in this category is dictionary learning or sparse coding, where the dictionary is also learned from the data. Since the last three years, a new approach to denoising has emerged. As opposed to the above categories, uh, where the assumption is placed on the signal, now the assumption can be placed on the noise. By assuming that the noise is originating strictly from random fluctuations, we can use one subset of the noisy data to denoise another subset without removing any signal as long as the noise exhibits a property of statistical independence. This type of denoising is often categorized under self-supervised learning. From all these methods, leveraging low rank, repeti uh, repetition, and statistical independence have been implemented in DiPy. I will go over each of them in the next parts.